Welcome to section 3. So now we're going to get into mass transport, actually get into the actual phenomena that makes gas absorption or distillation to happen. Now before we continue with that, it's very important to understand that the following section is only applicable for either laminar flow or very ideal cases, which we are not likely to encounter in engineering applications. But as you can imagine, if we understand these very, let's say, simplified cases, then we can understand further cases. Now, a very important part right here is to understand the different types of mass transport. We're going to see molecular diffusion, which is one type of mass transport, and we're going to model this with fixed law, which you are most likely being familiar with if you have been taking, uh, I don't know, transport phenomena classes or maybe even heat transfer. Sometimes fixed law is useful because it relates concentration and position. So without further ado, let's check it out. 